What's your esports team up to? Uh, getting their visas denied. So, about two months ago, for those of you who've been living under a rock, it seems as though Moist Critical has gotten into a bit of a feud with US immigration. I feel like most of this information was really made public when Moist Critical made a video about two months ago called I Don't Get Mad This Often. And in the video, he's just discussing his overall frustration with how US immigration has been handling the situation. Specifically, there was one US immigration agent who just seemed to have like a vendetta against all esports players, or at least that's how it came off to me. Because this US immigration agent is like actually notorious around the esports scene for just denying any visas for esports players. So our Apex squad is coming in A and we were going to have them live here because we love having them around. They're a lot of fun. We play basketball together. We go out together. Like it's, they're just a great time. And since they're gonna be competing in A, it was a super huge fit to just play out of the warehouse. And they were super down, we submitted all the paperwork, did everything we needed to do in a timely fashion. But then you're at the mercy of the US government and old Uncle Sam. Well, he's a bit of a, a bit of a out of touch kind of guy depending on what agent you get. So all the other esports team teams that were coming to NA, they got through. We got extremely unlucky. Our, es our guy didn't understand the space. So for people who don't know, there are two types of visas. There's a non-immigrant visa, which just allows you temporary access into the country for a certain amount of time. And then there's the immigrant visa, which allows permanent access into the country. And I'm also not super sure if this applies, but there's also visas specifically for athletes. And I think the eSports umbrella actually fits under that category. There's a P1 visa and an O1 visa, but I'm pretty sure there's some complications around that field because, you know, the government is run by old people, so they don't really know if they're going to count video games as like athletic sports or whatever. But anyway, I'm rambling on. Why am I talking about this today? Well, Moist Critical just came out with a video just a couple days ago, actually, saying that he's suing US immigration. Now, keep in mind, he's been in this fight for months. He's had to get lots of evidence just to be able to get his players into the country he once had them here at one point but u.s immigration agents just kind of said nope you're not allowed here anymore so they sent them to canada to play a split there so after the split in canada moving them back to the u.s proved to be pretty difficult now let me slow down real quick because maybe maybe you guys aren't understanding why this is such a big deal one our team is one of the best in the world and this major is huge it's massive and obviously we're very passionate about this game and this esport so they need to get into the country to play in this major because it's an in-person land they can't compete from canada it's happening in america it's happening here so they need to be here physically to compete in it no holograms no force ghosts no ai duplicate replicants nothing it's got to be them flesh and blood now i don't think i've gotten into too much detail about what exactly u.s immigration is stopping from getting into the country for a little context moist critical owns an esports org along with some other people like ludwig and it's a pretty big organization they have teams for valorant smash bros apex legends which is most notably what we're going to be talking about today so yeah it's a pretty big org and it's about as official as you can get when it comes to esports charlie has been working with some of the best lawyers in their field specifically specializing in cases like these and apparently any of the reasons that u.s immigration gave moist esports and the lawyers it, it just made no sense to anyone so when we submitted like the game we're playing apex they're like well we don't think your team is an international team we're a little suspicious of this so the, we eventually had an inquiry to submit more evidence because they initially needed more to accept them here so we did, and we submitted all the same information all the other esports orgs did, but our agent in particular, he had to be some kind of fossil. Truly just a relic of the past. He was not understanding playing games professionally. So we got the news two days ago that they were declined entry into the US, and we found out today why. And I'd, I'd like to actually get the documents that explain it, because it is such a head-scratcher that we have people working like per, people like this working in the positions that they occupy. So at the time, Moist Critical needed to move his team to the US because the Apex Majors were happening in LA. This isn't something that they can just play in Canada. They have to be there for it. It is it is required. So Charlie and his team were doing their very best to 
get them into the country and no matter what they threw at u.s immigration it just wasn't working it's actually seemed like this u.s immigration agent just had a vendetta against his team so with all the evidence given all the lawyers backing them up and even some higher up executives from ea themselves charlie still wasn't able to get his team into the country now keep in mind most esports their apex team is high ranking they have some pretty high ranking members they're insanely good at the game i would say most of the time they're like top three top five like they're insane and very clearly moist critical has a lot of passion for the esport so he would want his players to be there so unfortunately with no progress being made with u.s immigration moist critical had to release his team to actually get them into the u.s to be able to play in la because apparently them being under the moist esports umbrella was a big hindrance and one that seemingly stopped them from just getting into the country so now he does not have an apex team i i, I think a lot of people had a bit of confusion with the last video i made about this because the apex boys our team has been in america before we've even made videos together with them at our warehouse but there's a difference because they were only here for like two weeks I, I think it was even less than two weeks and then the major was overseas so they weren't here for a long time this time around we needed a different process because they were going to play the whole split in NA. So it needed to go through an entirely different procedure to allow them to stay here for that period. And since we keep getting declined, they are now no longer allowed to just come here temporarily. All of that's halted because they're under our Moist Esports blanket. So now they can't come into the country for this major. They couldn't even show up on the day to compete. Plus, they wouldn't want to do that anyway because they want time to practice, obviously. So that leaves us with only one fucking option left. And that's to cut our team. We have to release one of the best teams in the entire Apex circuit. Because that's the only way they're going to be allowed in the country. They can come here as long as they're not being represented by us. As long as they are not represented by any org right now, they can come here and compete. So that's our only option, because we obviously want the best for these guys. We want them to shine at the Major. So in order to do that, we have to let them go. It's like that fucking scene in Pokemon where Ash sets down the Pikachu and runs away crying. That's us. That is literally what we have to do with our team right now. And just a couple days ago, Not Moist participated in the majors. And apparently they did very well. Your team had to overcome a lot, right, over the past couple weeks. How have the boys been for that? Uh, it's definitely been like ups and downs, uh, obviously visa issues and stuff like that is just unnecessary pressure just leading up to land but I think we coped pretty well and I think as you guys saw today we're still the same team that we were a couple weeks ago so I think we're doing well. Just absolutely built different, I mean look at you bro, <laughs> built different. So it, Apex is in an intense game, it's crazy. How do you keep your composure in high stress situations in game? Uh, I mean, we're just no strangers to it at this point. You know, I think this is what our fifth land. We've never missed a finals. I've never been to losers. So I think it's just a matter of experience, really. And it also came to light that Moist Critical is suing U.S. Immigration. Sadly, though, in his case, U.S. Immigration is highly protected. Like them being under umbrella, all the employees being under umbrella, they're very hard to sue. And most of the time, you really get nothing out of it outside of just your stuff being overturned. And it seems as though Moist Critical is happy with doing that. Now, me personally, when I heard this news, I was frustrated as hell because I hate the fact that you aren't able to actually just get any money back from the damages that U.S. Immigration has caused you. And in my head, I was like, well, if you can't sue U.S. Immigration, why not just sue the one person who did it to you? And they can't be sued either. They are protected. So yeah, at the most, Moist Critical is just gonna get his case overturned. But if you know anything about esports, you know exactly how hard a hit financially this must have been. And I just think it's awful that you can't get anything back from US Immigration for them doing that to you. They have no incentive to do anything properly if they're just protected like that. And I personally think it's scummy. So I hope that Moist Critical, you know, I hope it all works out in the end. I'm happy that not Moist did so well in the majors. So with that said, I hope you guys got the rundown for everything that's happening with the Moist Critical situation and the esports team. And I, I hope it works well in their favor. Oh, and by the way, links to the videos will be down in the description below. Go watch them. I think Moist Critical obviously knows the situation way better than I ever will. And he does a way better job of detailing everything. So go watch those if you want to learn more about them. Good luck on the lawsuit. And yeah, that's it for today.